Welcome back to episode 523 of my Walmart Let's Play. This episode is called Hiring a Cashier, because I'm close to being able to hire a cashier. So let's go. Open the store. Open for business. I think I have enough inventory, right? We got some Susu. Yes, Susu on the shelf. All right, and the high energy intro is over. And we are back to the normal persona of a cashier. Check out, man. Better make sure to turn the lights on in my shop so it's more inviting for customers. Was hiring a cashier the wrong decision? Was hiring a cashier the wrong decision for my dropshipping company? Here's how to make $5,000 online dropshipping on Timu. Hmm, I'll purchase some blue flour and uh, maybe some susu as well. I think he mixes the susu with the flour to make susu bread. You think it's a delicious treat for him? Do you think the people in this town have running water or is there only liquid from my fridge? It's funnier to think it's the latter option. Couldn't find orange juice? <laughs> I have some. I have a bunch of orange juice in a crate on the floor that I can't put in the thing yet. Because there's no empty slot. I have some warm, possibly expired orange juice just lying on the hardwood plank floor. There's so many customers. Holy crap. We are packed, crowded today. Seven dollars. And 85 cents. Need a cashier so bad. I think uh, level 10 is when you get the cashier. I'm on level 9, yeah. Just one more level. I couldn't find rice. I thought we had some rice. This guy's buying all my liquids. You're selling a product without setting its price? I am? What product would that be? Also, that notification was not there last time I played. I think that's nice. What product did I not set the price? Oh, the Coke. I didn't set the Coke price. Gotta go 240 on the Coca Cola. Gotta go uh, not 65 cents. Holy crap. They've been stealing my Sprite, dude. They stole my Sprite from me. Oh, man. I'm getting ripped off. I'm getting ripped off big time. Give me some good profit on that apple juice. Okay, I'm so sorry, customers. I'm sorry about that wait. I had to go adjust the price of the item you're about to buy. She walked into the store and she was like, wow, it's a great price on cola. I'll pick that up. <laughs> I scanned her cola. Then I walked over to the cola and reset the price and walked back over and said, oh, actually, it'll be $5. But you, it was on sale. Yeah, I changed that. It's not on sale anymore. I, uh, I fixed that loophole. $24.07. Another product with no price? What product now? What am I forgetting? $5.98. There you go. What am I forgetting now? Ah, the milk. Dude, milk's expensive. We can go with, uh, we can go like $12.50 on that one. We can get a margin on that one. And there is room for the orange juice now, so keep standing in line, customers, as I stock my orange juice real quick. The box can stand in line. Is there one more? Oh, there's still more in there. There we go. These customers are going to be pissed. Look, it's not my fault they won't hire a cashier, okay? I'm the only person on duty today. When you walk into a store and there's one person running the whole store, you have two options. You can be angry and be rude, or you can be understanding and still be annoyed, but not like yell at them. Those are the two options. One time I was working at a place that sold pizzas. Like it was like a 7-Eleven type place where you had to make the pizza. And I had, I was by myself because the person on my shift didn't show up. They just didn't show up that day. That was good. Literally, there was a line of maybe like 15 people. It was bad. 
It was it was like getting to where people weren't sure where they were supposed to stand to continue the line. And this guy waits in line for like 20 minutes. He gets to the front. He's like, "Oh, can I get five pizzas?" It's like what? So all these people in the line had to just sit there and watch me make this guy five pizzas. And I, I tried to keep it moving, but you know, there's only so much moving you can do when somebody orders five of your 7-Eleven pizzas. I probably didn't adhere to the health and safety standards when making that guy's pizzas. I'm not gonna lie. It was a dark day. It happened a long time ago, and I still remember that. It's still a nightmare. That's like a nightmare dream I have of like being the only person on the register. Like, oh, just wake up like, oh, thank God. The only person I gotta make pizzas for now is me. I don't know if I've ever made a pizza for myself. I usually just order a pizza or get a frozen pizza. Not really big on the handmade pizzas. 90 cents. These customers suck at paying, I agree. Though there are a lot more customers now. I wonder if store level correlates with how many customers come in. Is it that I have a lot of products for sale or is it that I have a higher store level? Also, I'm not even halfway to 10, ugh. Can I speak to your manager? Yeah, the manager is the one who doesn't fire the employees after they don't show up for their shift like 10 times in a row. It's like, eh, well, you know. We'll cut him some slack this time. It's like, can we not cut him some slack? I mean, no offense, but I'm over here doing everything by myself and they just don't show up ever. You know, if we, if you got rid of them, if you let them go from their job, they wouldn't be on the schedule. And if they weren't on the schedule, then they wouldn't never come in. They, they basically just quit. And they, they quit without telling the manager that they quit, basically. They're like, I'm just going to stop coming in and not tell anybody that I will never come in ever again. I had a franchisee throw a pizza at me. Nice. What kind of pizza? What kind of Walter White pizza was it? Does that nightmare happen more often than the old oh, man? I have a test in a class I've never been to. I like never have those, dude. I never have like academic nightmares. <laughs> My nightmares are pretty much all retail based. They're, ba they're basically just, like, retail-based, and then sometimes I'm, like, driving a car. And, like, the brakes don't work. I have that one sometimes. That, that one's not that often. Like, I'm just, I'm getting my car and I drive, and the brakes don't work. And I'm like, oh, my God, the brakes don't work. Ah! That happens. But most of the time, it is retail-related nightmares. They're pretty bad. In my nightmares, Walmart doesn't have the bow show. That's what makes it a nightmare. It's a normal Walmart with no bow show. I'm a manager and it's a nightmare of its own? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's not fun. Pretty much no jobs are fun. That's why we make video games out of menial jobs and play them for fun. I gotta order some product. I gotta stock my shelves. Let's see, does it tell you how much of each you have yet? It really should do that on this window. Because I forget what I have. Uh, we sold all of our Sprite. We sold all of our milk and our water. So we need some Starry. Some milk. Some water. Uh, what's order? I mean, what else do we need? I can't tell. I'm not going to remember this. Let's just order a bunch of stuff and see what happens, you know? Let's just go for it. Order some Chaco. Order some Susu. People love the Susu. Coffee roast. Peanut butter. Fluoride, tea, rice. Somebody wanted rice yesterday. Max items. Why is there a max item limit of how much can be ordered? It's kind of dumb. But I got plenty of OJ. The OJ is stocked and ready to go. 
I can relate on the car breaks one or my teeth falling out. Yeah, I don't have teeth falling out. That's a common one I hear that I've never had. What's your favorite nightmare? Let me know in the comments. What's your favorite occupational hazard? Let me know in the comments. All right, double milk. Are you the Sprite? No, you're the uh, the Choco Chunk. I still have one realizing I've never attended a class I was meant to be going to. Another education one. I never have like class-related nightmares. It just doesn't happen to me. I've had classes that were nightmares, like in real life. But they haven't translated in my dreams, thankfully. I'm stocking, I'm stocking. Perfect. Perfect stock. Probably shouldn't order more coffee. Didn't realize how much coffee I still had. A bit of a waste of shelf space there. Peanut butter shelf. He puts the peanut butter up upon the shelf. We can put uh, eggs and cheese down there, I think. Or some eggs. Or is that cheese? And we have more room on the normal shelf. What product is a normal shelf lacking in? Is it lacking in salt and olive oil? I feel like it might be. My goldfish brain thinks that might be it. It didn't have that one. That was a good call. Uh, salt. Get that salt on there. I have dreams where I don't have clothes on. Hmm. Yeah, I don't get that one. I didn't subscribe to that DLC pack. I've heard that one. I've heard of that one. A lot of great nightmares out there, you know? It's a shame we won't all get to experience every nightmare there is. We only get a select few nightmares that our brain chooses for us. Open up the store, open up the store, turn on the light. In my lab, I'm not safe. OSHA laws I violate. In the lab in which I sing. Oops, I created those things. There you go. There's the pharmaceutical nightmare. A poppy nightmare would be nice. Yeah, dude. If I had a nightmare where Huggy Wuggy was chasing me, I'd be like, yeah, this is awesome. This is a great nightmare. I love this one. How you doing, sir? Would you like uh, any Huggy Wuggy merchandise today? No? You want to join our Huggy Wuggy rewards program? $2,000. That's too many dollars. I mean, I wish you would make a $2,000 purchase. Incorrect payment amount? Uh, you're right. I cannot type. There you go, sir. Sorry. Sorry I tried to charge you $2,000 for a bottle of soda. My bad. Not gonna lie, though. If that went through, I would not have told him. Go to the customer help desk. They can get you a refund. You don't have one of those. Yeah, I know. Bye-bye. Oil is too expensive for me? Whatever, bro. She bought two of them. The green oil is at a very fair price. Except everybody is saying it's too expensive. So maybe it's not. Susu, though. Susu is always a hot seller. The people of this town love Susu. The CIA loves Susu. Isn't that right, Mr. Government Man? Mr. Man in Black? The orange lady loves cheese. What 
What does Red Shirtman want? Lots of water. Red Shirtman is thirsty. Dying so often is thirsty work. Where does Ban Ban merch rank on Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Pretty low. As in, it's a necessity for life. Probably just above food and shelter is where I put it. What is like this new one? I don't know how new it is, but it's like color friends or whatever. There's like something called Color Friends, which is like a Ban Ban ripoff, which is crazy because Ban Ban's a ripoff of other games. Because in the toy aisle at Walmart, they have Huggy Wuggies, they have Ban Bans, and they have Color Friends. So whatever a Color Friend is, I gotta play that one next. I can't be behind the curb on children's mascot horror franchises. This is one of the few areas of knowledge in which I pride myself upon. I once put the weight of tomatoes incorrectly, so I charged a lady like $40 for tomatoes. I had the supervisor come by and take it off, but somehow it managed to count it out against my drawer. When I counted it, I was $40 short. Oh, man. Nothing worse than a short drawer. As your manager goes, what are you thinking? Or you go, I don't know. I guess nothing. I guess I wasn't thinking anything. Your drawer was short by $1. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. That's my bad. Also, that sounds like not my problem, though, so. That's too much money. Give it back. Not for you. I was about to have a short drawer on myself there. Level 10 incoming. We're getting close. We will be level 10 by the end of the day. Then I can berate my employee for having a short drawer. It'll be perfect. What do you uh, what do you count down your drawer to? What's a number? Do you count down to a hundred or lower? Depends on the shift. Depends on what shift you're uh, you're replacing. If you're do if you're going into the overnight, you want less money in there for overnight. But I've worked at a place where they count down to 100. I've worked at a place where they count down to 70. And 70 was more annoying, honestly, because it's like a 7. It's like a less round number. And also, you get the drawer with 70 in it, and then it's like that's not enough if it's busy. Thanks for nothing, previous shift. Riveting gameplay? Thanks. I strive to only provide the best. My door is always long, dang. Out here fleecing the customers. I would never do that. Charges $10 for bread. After being the only bread vendor in town. Forget it, you're not the only foundation repairman in town. $1 for you, sir. You couldn't find Compte cheese? We have Compte cheese. I just sold it. Somebody beat you to the punch, buddy. $97 right before closing. You're hitting me with $97 change just before the closing bell. Now this is my personal hell. Prices are insane. I'm the only store in town. In this little pocket dimension, I'm the only guy they have, so I can charge whatever I want. The most unrealistic part is how fast you scan items. It usually takes a lot longer. Guess I'm putting them on. I've always wanted to take one of those little plastic things. You know those little dividers they have, but they like divide your stuff from the person in front of you stuff. I kind of want to take one of those and just like have it. I don't know what I would do with it, but. It's very tempting to just grab one of those and run away.
Solid Surgeon, thank you for subscribing. You can be uh, Dr. Zed from Borderlands. He's not so good with the saw, but his med kits do heal you. Just don't ask him for an amputation. Alrighty, we can now... Well, how much does a cashier cost to hire? We gotta see how much money we have. Because I want the cashier. I want him big time. I do have a lot of bills to pay, probably. Yeah, I got plenty of bills. Yeah, it's fine. They auto-pay, I'm pretty sure. So, who cares? Customization is still not there. Hiring. Cost 100 bucks. 100 bucks to onboard an employee? Sounds like a plan to me. I've hired the employee. It's not as momentous as it sounds. Hello, employee. Do you have a name? Is he wearing a tuxedo? He's dressed up, dude. Dress for the job you want. Oh, man, I, I really need some food. I really could go for some food. Uh, hey, man, what store is this? Ah, uh, yes, welcome, sir, to the White Glove Society. Okay, no, wrong store. Not where I want to get my food from, I think. I really want to be a limo driver, but right now I'm stuck working at Supermarket Inc. Hopefully things will pan out for me. All right, I'm locking the door. See you in the morning. Mm -hmm. Can you order stuff at the end of the day? Because I'll make the beginning of the day go much more smoothly. Let's just order it all. Actually, we don't need any tea, I think. I think teas cost a lot of money and we have some already. All the ordering is closed after 9 p.m.? Lame. When do you think the stores get stocked in real life? It's not during the day. I mean, it kind of is, but you know. They got nighttime people. Honestly, nighttime stocking is like the best job. Being a nighttime stocker at a grocery store is so chill. If you're allowed to have an AirPod in. And if you're not allowed to have AirPods in, you just wear AirPods anyway. One weird trick they don't want you to know. All right, what do we need? We need uh, the fridge is running low. On many choice items. I already added an egg. Hang on. Only one egg, please. Uh, what do I need? I don't even know what I need. I guess I'll order that much stuff. So what, what is this game even going to be, though? If I'm not running the register, what do I do? <laughs> so I just stand here and watch my employee scan stuff and be like, ah, yes. Good work, employee. You're doing excellent work for our company, Incorporated. Becomes an idle game? Yeah, is it going to be an idle game? Need a second register that I can run? Yeah, you can buy more registers. I might need to. I'm not sure how efficient this guy's gonna be. He might suck. It is his first day on the job. He's new. He's learning the system. He's memorizing all the item codes. Another day with pack shelves. Get some eggs in there. I should buy more item licenses. That'd be good to buy. More shelves. Gotta buy more of everything. Alright, my loyal employee, prepare. Are you prepared? To be employed. I want to put that right there. Uh, I could order more bread. Bread's popular. People love bread. A lot of bread fans in the audience. Do we have Susu in stock? 
We have no Susu in stock. Oh, man. The people would not have forgiven me for that one. I think I don't have milk either. Let's get some milk. The signature item. Yeah, really. This is basically a Susu store. Without Susu, who am I? I get some more milk in there. He has Susu? I do? Oh, I do have some Susu. Well, you know, never enough Susu. It blended in. It was white. It had a white box. Just you watch. We'll sell all this Susu today alone. I guarantee we're going to be sold out of Susu. These townsfolk love it. I want to just leave this box here in a haphazard manner. Okay, cashier. Let's see what you do. Let's see him in action. I hope he goes fast. I wonder if the cashiers make mistakes. I want the cashier's drawer to be under so I can yell at him. I want like a dialogue tree. You better shape up if you want to keep your job around here. Welcome to my shop, sir. Welcome to my shop, ma'am. Please enjoy our new cashier experience. In which I just <laughs> wander around by the shelves and watch you guys shop. Are right, we running low on? Is she buying the last Panzaddy? We need some more Panzaddy. Panzaddy's running low. Panzaddy and oil's running low. Oh, he's so slow. He's so slow. Do you hear him? He sucks. That guy sucks. Crap. My employee's no good. Oh, he's so slow. We're never going to hit our margins at that rate, dude. He's trash. He has, like, a realistic cashiering speed, unlike me. I'm a force of nature. Almost had a Coke. Could do some more of both colas. Cola, very popular product. People love the cola. Back on the bench. Mm -hmm. I've been benched at my own business. Benched by my own business. This is worse than the time the accounts were receivable. Yeah, the boxes have no collisions, so the NPCs will just go through them, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Now I need two cashiers, because this cashier is too slow. How much does the next cashier cost? What's my upgrade tree? Cashier 2. Store level 20. Holy crap, it's going to take so long. It'll take 55 years. Could buy some new licenses. How much does another cashier thing cost? Because this guy sucks. He's no good. $500? $500? My made of money over here? Almost had a red flower. We're going to do some red flower. What one there what was on that shelf? I don't remember. Anybody buy some Cokes yet? Yeah, a couple Cokes are purchased. Come on, buy one more cola, lady. Just one more. Oil's too expensive? I guess I can lower the price. Holy crap, it's too expensive. Huh. It's too much. That's very overpriced. That's the shirt you get when you beat Mario Sunshine and you unlock the sunglasses. Bum, 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 bum. Super Mario Sunshine. Woohoo! That's a good game. Uh, water is running a little bit low. We have no Compti cheese. 
get that Compty cheese for the discerning customer. Get some water because we're running low on Compty cheese. There we go. Uh, what else are we missing? Do I remember anything? Anything spring to mind? Not really. Orange juice is a good buy today, though. High margins on OJ. Salt? And I got plenty of salt. I got more salt than a Star Wars YouTuber. You put the water down there, I guess. Inefficient. Inefficient stocking. Want somebody to buy a Turk Cola? Wait, no, you're the Turk Cola. What's this then? Just regular cola? Someone buy a Sam's Club Cola. Need more space in these rearranging boxes. Hmm. I feel like having a greater item spread won't help that much at this point. Maybe it will. I mean, I, I gotta get to level 10. It's gonna take a million years to level this up more. Another shelf could be good. Another anything could be good. There's like no wrong choices right now. Let's buy the, uh, more space. Now, more space sucks. I need a product license. Yeah, let's buy the level nine product license. We got cake, cake, candy, cereal, chocolate bar, yogurt. Okay. Those are good items. Uh, we're going to need a shelf for these new items for $200. Give me that new stuff. Give me those new goods. One order of piping hot new goods coming up. And it's getting dark outside. Excuse me, shelf coming through. Don't worry, we're going to have the hottest products here. We got the Pepites. They're good. Got to eat Pepites. Pepites, of course, cost. Yeah, we'll call them a 450. This new guy has to count on his fingers, yeah. Look at this line forming. Look at this line forming on the new guy's watch. What do you want? Chocolate bar? I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. We don't have Mr. Beastables yet. We got to get Mr. Beast in here. Everybody wants chocolate bars and soda. Despite the European look of some of these products, it's feeling pretty American to me. If you're selling a product without setting a price, I know, I know. I know, game. The problem is, I don't want to put the box down and then pick it back up. You want an orange juice? We have no orange juice? Oh yeah, we don't. Oops. Get back in here. Does Mr. Beast make Lunchables? No, his candy bar company is called Feastables. Therefore, I said Beastables. Do we sell a generic cola? Oh my god. Can we sell one generic cola, please? Is it too much to ask? Oh, we're out of the green stuff. That was a pretty successful day. Pretty good profits. And we got new products. We got marshmallow fluff. Nice work, cashier. I like that you dressed up for your job. Oh, this is the fridge? Uh-oh. Yogurt has to be refrigerated? What? In what universe? In what world does yogurt go in the fridge? Do I have room for an orange juice shelf? I don't think I do. Unfortunately, got room for plenty of products, though.
What's the official obo shoe snacks? Obo obo bites. There you go. Obo bites. Obo bites. All right, we got to stock our shelves. Our customers rely on us for susu. We must provide for susu and peanut butter. That's what the general public craves. Oh yeah, the order's closed. Ugh. All right, go home, buddy. Store's done. How do we do? Total profits negative, but it, it was fine. It was a growth day. It was growth. It's fine that we had negative profit because we grew big time. So the price of my item I just bought went down by a lot, which sucks. Bad time to be in the market of new products. I think it said a cola went up, though. Is there a way to see what the price fluctuations were after they've shown up for one second and left forever? Which might not be enough time. All right, place that order. I can't. I have no money. Uh, get rid of the salt. Place that order, sure. Honestly, just open the store while I stock the items. Save some time. Because nobody even comes in till 9. On a usual day. Susu. Get your Susu. Eat delicious treats that can't be beat. Maybe Oboshu's Gamer Grub is called Susu. In honor of this game. It's a quality product. Because Mr. B's gimmick is he's like, I'm making a candy bar that's healthier than normal candy bars. It's still a candy bar, so you know, it's not great. But it's better than the normal candy bars marginally. But sure, it's okay. It's an okay goal. Maybe the Obo Shoes goes in a different direction. Maybe Obo Shoes is like, Susu, you'll die. Susu, it's real bad for you. Like, we advertise how bad it is for you. Like, that one, that one restaurant in Las Vegas, like the Heart Attack Grill. Where it's like, customers have literally died from eating our artery-clogging sandwich. Oboshu Susu. It's just uh, 70 grams of sugar per bite. Serving size is one-tenth of a bite. 1,000 servings per package. Susu is chocolate-covered butter, yeah. A real, a real great healthy product. We have no coffee. But coffee's expensive. Can I even afford coffee? Can I even afford that kind of money? $56 for Susu. Jeez Louise. I mean, not Susu. Coffee. Sugar packets marked as snacks, yeah. It's literally just sugar packets you eat. What can we call a sugar packet? Well, those are called pixie sticks. But I'm, I'm not talking pixie sticks. I'm talking just a straight up sugar packet. Like we stop by 7-Eleven and take their sugar from their coffee bar and then resell that. Maybe, uh, maybe call them like Rip'ems because you like rip them open. Rip'ems, the all new delicious snack. Rip them open and pour it down your mouth hole. Whoa, lady, whoa, whoa, she's trying to make off. She's trying to make off with my marshmallow fluff before I could price it accordingly. Come on. Won't somebody please buy one of those red colas? Thank God somebody did. Buy my yogurt. There we go, yogurt shelf unlocked. Can you wait till they pick an item up, then change it to be $200? Maybe. Let's try that. This man is buying pasta. The pasta now costs $200. Let's see if he still buys it. 
This will be a good experiment. Couldn't find orange juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the wheat. Will this guy pay for the pasta box or will he tell the cashier to put it back on the shelf for him? Which he won't do. Yeah, I have this refrigerated item. I'm just going to leave this here. Is he still going to buy it? Watch the, watch the money. Watch the money counter. 20 bucks? Ah. It, it accounted for the price when he picked it up. Okay. That's fair. So the price it costs when they grab it from the shelf is the price they get charged, I think. Which also means my past attempts to remedy my pricing failures were not effective. It worked faster if you stand right behind him. Yeah, I gotta threaten him. Man, don't mind me. I'm just here to supervise. You find everything okay, ma'am? Just let me know if you need anything, okay? Just let me know if you want to yell at the cashier. It's fine. You can do it. You're, you're allowed to. I'll give you one free yell on the house. Oh my god, water, come on. Ooh, we're missing some blue pasta. We need some blue pasta and some red flour and some green oil. Uh, blue pasta, red flour, green oil. Could use some more milk as well. You were selling a product without setting its price. Which product is that? I don't even know. I didn't set the price for yogurt? Oh, man. Customers are loving that yogurt. Who wants the milk? Who wants the shelf milk? Price the coffee? Is the coffee not priced? Now the coffee's got a price. It's 12 smackers. $12. A great value. Come to my shop and buy my great value deals. Here at Supermarket, we're the only game in town for all your grocery needs. Come buy our fair and supreme chocolate slam. We will never have a special on Susu, though, because you guys will buy Susu no matter what. We know you guys love Susu, so that's not going on sale. Aha. A weak spot for the water reveals itself at last. I gotta get more lights. There's a depressing store. It's very dim in here. It's very dimly lit. Feels like an indie horror game in here. There are already a lot of indie horror games that take place inside of a store, but there should be more. It's a good setting. I've played like five. It's not that hard to find them on itch.io, but make more of them indie developers. Give them some PS1 graphics, yeah. Picture this. You're the cashier at Walmart on the overnight shift, and it's PS1 graphics, and then the lights turn out, and then there's like blood on the floor. And you like walk around for five minutes and then a guy goes Bleh! then it ends. That could be good. That could be pretty good, in my opinion. Maybe I should buy another fridge. Get more fridge space going. Do some remodeling here. We'll put the fridges over more to get more fridge space. I like how the items stay in the fridge when you move them. In a game that sucked, all the items would like have to be removed and fall off, which would be bad. Okay, the boxes do have collision, actually. Just not when you're carrying them. They should make a game like this for Waffle House. It's also a fighting game. It has to have Mountain Blade combat. Mountain Blade combat with the kitchen equipment. X Jesus H, thank you for subscribing 25 minutes ago. I think I missed that one. Uh-oh. I missed Jesus. No rapture for me. 
Nice work, employee. What's our profit? Ooh, 500 bucks. Susu is on the rise. That's good. Ooh, Susu. Susu, you Susu shouldn't have. Tea's way down there. That's still a decent price for tea. That can still sell, maybe. Coffee? Probably too high for coffee. We need coffee, salt. What else we need? Do you fit in here? I kind of wish any product could fit in any box. Because rearranging the shelf is very annoying. Orange juice? Yeah, I need another refrigerator is what I need. Need more fridge action. That was a lot of money. Uh, what do we need? I already forgot. That's the. It, it, you should be able to see your inventory on that screen. I feel like that's a no-brainer change to make to this game. I get it right there. There we go. Good news, we have a new fridge. Bad news, we have no items to put in it at all. All right, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, salt. Coffee, tea, salt. It's a good start. Although coffee, can I even afford the coffee? Yeah, can I afford the tea? Mm, I can't afford both, we'll go salt. And we'll go with um the orange juice. Because people are wanting that orange juice. They're wanting that citrus slam. Good job, bio juice. Bionicles juice? Charge a tidy three fifty for that. Yeah, open the shop, why not? Let them in. If you stock it, they will come. Pulp heads. Mm -hmm. Addicted to that pulp. I'm a no pulp kind of guy, to be honest. Like, if pulp is fine. I don't not like pulp. If there's pulp in the orange juice, I won't not drink it. But also, I do prefer the no pulp. That's just the kind of guy I am. What kind of pulp do you prefer in your orange juice? Let's start a dialogue in the comments. Not not let me know in the comments. No, we're done with that. Now we're opening a dialogue in the comments. This is a bit of a disaster. No pulp? I want my sub back. Sorry. I'm using it to buy no pulp orange juice as we speak. I don't like pulp, but pulp kind of tastes better. Hmm. An interesting opinion. You seem conflicted. You must choose. Choose a side. There are no pros and cons. There's only right and wrong. It's going to take so long to get store level 20 and get another cashier going. The cashier's my bottleneck. This guy sucks. Hello, ma'am. Did you find all your susu okay today? Find plenty of susu? Hmm, susu's a hot seller. Susu's selling out. We're a bit low on liquid funds right now. All of our money is being utilized to stock the shelves. Could buy another register and do it yourself. Yeah, it's 500 bucks though. It's a lot of money. I might do that. Because he's, he's not really going fast enough where I can't keep up with the stocking. 
Because I, I was thinking maybe he'll sell so much that I have to be stocking 24-7, but no. He's not that quick. Adjust the old rice price. The price is rice. Couldn't find Compti cheese. Oh, Compti cheese, dude. They always want Compti cheese. I keep forgetting. Not to worry, two of the same green lady. Compti cheese is on the menu. Our exclusive Compti cheese. Okay, we're charging a fair price for Compti cheese, I'd say. Come on, cashier. Rack up those sales. Once you get 500 bucks, I can buy another register and I can help you. But I won't. But I could in theory. It could be done. Turco soda is too expensive. It's not that much. It's not that much, lady. I'll lower it by 10 cents. Will that help you? Will that ease your financial burden? Wrong box. There should be a universal, like, restocking box. Our shelves are getting a bit dry here. We need some red flour. Red flour, susu. Red flour, susu, coffee, milk, peanut butter. Red flour, susu. I can afford the coffee, right? Coffee, the shelf milk, some peanut butter, some apple juice. Get some, uh, I think that's it for now. I don't know what else I need. Don't give in to her demands. Excuse me, can I have some Compti cheese? No. As long as I draw breath, this store will never stock Compti cheese. Oh, sir, Compti cheese actually has a really high profit margin. Okay. Maybe we'll stock some Compti cheese. Milk time. Just in time, too. The last of the shelf milk just sold. A little coffee time for you. A little susu time for you. Everybody's favorite time. Red flower. What are you people looking for? Tea. We just had some. You guys bought it all. He bought all the tea. It's his own fault. How much tea is he drinking? If he already ran out. I'll check in the back and see if we have some. Yeah. I caught my employee checking in the back. That's code word for going on your phone for five minutes and taking a break. An unsanctioned by the company break. We're losing money on that. Get back out there on the floor and play on your phone there. Go on Twitter on the floor where the customers can see you. Not back here where they can't. All right, here's a tea. We got more tea. Uh, Morty, uh, Morty, it's freaking Morty, ha ha ha, Morty, ha. Uh. What do you want? Do you want Compti cheese? No, we got Compti cheese. Yogurt's too expensive? Screw you, dude. It's not even that much. It's not even that much for the yogurt. If you want yogurt, you gotta pay up. That's today's economy. Have you seen yogurt prices lately? 
They're sky high. They don't say they're losing money, they say you're stealing time. Oh yeah, time theft. Do not commit time theft. Don't do it. Commit time theft? This employee commits no time theft. This employee has no break. <laughs> this guy works 12 hours, no break. That's what I like to see. And I will never give him a raise. And the prices at the grocery store are outrageous these days. I ought to know. I'm the one who sets them. I set them above market value every time. Consistently above market value. Oh, man. See computer for details. Oh, man. Eggs are down. Everything's down. Bad time to run a store. Peanut butter's down. Okay, you can see that on the computer. It's just not conveniently arranged. All right, what are we missing? What kind of holes do we have in the inventory here? All the new stuff is out of stock. People love that candy and that cereal and that chocolate bar. Oh, we're probably almost out of the blue flower. Get some oil. Uh, eggs are down. I don't think I have eggs in stock, though, so we'll get some eggs. We'll get some pasta. Orange juice is down. Apple juice. Don't think I have any Sprite. Sure, it's a decent order. I think it was a pretty good order. I don't think I over-ordered that badly. I assume I'll overorder every time, but I don't think that was a particularly egregious example. I might have too much apple juice. Hope you guys like apple juice. Crispy chibi. Delicious cereal for the kids. Hey, parents. Give your kids a bowl of sugar every morning. It's got a cartoon rabbit on it, so it's fun. I love honeycomb, though. Honeycomb is so good. That's a good cereal. What's your favorite breakfast cereal? Start a dialogue in the comments. Uh, I'm, I like the Honey Nut Cheerios. I probably like the Honey Nut Cheerios better than the honeycombs. Honey Nut Cheerios is real good, let me think. I'm scanning my memory banks. Do I like anything better than Honey Nut Cheerios? Probably. I probably do, I just gotta think. Captain Crunch? Eh, Captain Crunch kinda sucks. Shreddies, you mean like shredded wheat things? But the frosting, those are pretty good. Count Chocula? I prefer the Cocoa Pebbles to Count Chocula. For my money, the best chocolate one is gonna be the Cocoa Pebbles. Cocoa Pebble is pretty good. Frosted Flakes? Frosted Flakes are like C tier. They're like mid. They're a mid one. Trix is godlike, and Trix, Trix is better before they turn it into a weird ball. Because Trix used to be like individual shapes with like individual like flavors but lately Trix is like oh fruit fusion and it's like a ball of like a bunch of crap Trix isn't balls anymore okay good it's better when it's not balls Trix balls are not good Trix not balls is pretty good choco puffs i mean I'm, all chocolate cereals are chocolate cereals so they're all good but fruity pebbles is my favorite texture delivery those chocolates look like passports they do They'll take you to an all-new flavor destination. Come on, lady. It's not even that much. I'm not even charging that unreasonable of a price for that. What do we need? We have plenty of shelf space. We use a few more waters and milks and Compte cheeses. Can we consolidate the soda here? Can soda date it? Yeah, there we go. 
Any more consolidation is to be done? I can stock the crap out of my fridge now. Let's buy not more apple juice. We have too much apple juice. Let's buy Compti cheese. We'll buy a bowl of wool. And uh, what? Let's buy a Sprite. I don't think I bought a Sprite in a while. I have a full shelf of Sprite. And no Turco Cola. We gotta get that Turco. I should have bought Turco instead of Sprite. Whoops. Turco is the hot seller. Turco is the fast mover over I-95. Now they get through. I've got Turco Cola over I-95. Modern Warfare 2, but they're invaded by the Coca-Cola company instead of the Spetsnaz. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Eh. That was with Frosted Flakes for me. It's kind of a mid option. Is that the one that's like, it's a taste you can see? Is it that one? Is that their motto? Couldn't find Turco Cola. I'm sorry. I just got it in stock, lady. I just got the Turco Cola. I gotta get the G Fuel. The customers crave G Fuel. I'm not delivering. I prefer off the brand, the off brand Choco Pebbles other than Choco Pebbles themselves. Yeah, sometimes the off brand can be the best one. There's so many different off brands though, it's hard to know. It's hard to know which ones are truly superior and which ones are like, eh. Couldn't find Panzatti pasta? I don't know. He couldn't find the pirates of Panzatti. I am the very model of a modern pasta gentleman. I put it on my store shelf and I charge you a dollar ten. How are we doing, customers? I'm collecting customer feedback. What do you uh, What do you want in my store? He was satisfied. I wish there was like a kill feed of customer feedback. That'd be good. That would be a good addition. Because right now I got to look at the customer to see what they want. Eggs is too expensive for you? Eh, yeah, it's pretty expensive. I'll give it to you on that one, customer. You might have a point. Why haven't Skittles made a cereal? That would be awful. That sounds terrible. Just pour Skittles and milk, exactly. Skittles and milk sounds terrible, so I can't imagine a Skittles cereal would do numbers. Does caffeinated cereal exist? I'm sure it does. Caffeine Man probably has a breakdown on his channel. Sour Patch Kids cereal was the worst. Yeah, they made, they made like, candy cereals. I think they stopped making them, too, because they're real bad. My shelves are becoming unstocked. Couldn't find Lizutu Rice Pasta. Which one is that? It's that one. Hurry, right, before... Ah, oh, they closed. Those jerks. Well, the cart stays persistently, so let's see. We have Susu. We need all types of flour. We're in desperate need. Some bread going. This is a good, a uh, good spread of items. Probably don't need marshmallows. Nobody's buying those. A 
Oh, you can't edit the car after 9 p.m.? Hmm. I can add. Oh, that's the subtract, duh. Duh. Well, we're in that weird time of the day where time stands completely still as we ponder our next move. I could buy some eggs and yogurt. There's a lot of guys in that yogurt pack, though. Comes with a million of them. Ooh, the peptides cake is going up. Pepto-Bismol. Alright, what, anything else for the cooler we need before I place this order? Uh, orange juice and milk wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't kill me to order some orange juice and some milk. It wouldn't kill me. All right, employee, prepare to scan. As I stock our shelves high. Plenty of milk. Probably too much milk. We'll just leave it out to spoil, it'll be fine. Spaghetti. Oh no, it's in the road. I got some eggs that got run over by a truck. Oh my truck eggs. They're a bit smushed, but they're still they're still eatable. Just make an omelet, you know? They gotta break a couple of eggs to make an omelet anyway. They just come pre-broken. Ready made omelet, just add heat. A new gimmick. Yogurt, 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 yogurt. Are you dropping frames or is the game lagging? Uh I think the stream is dropping frames because the game's not lagging at all. Is there a V-Sync option here? There is no options at all. Maybe I'll put it on medium. Maybe that'll help. I don't think it looks fine to me, though. Any lag is on OBS's slash Twitch's end. This game's running silky smooth. Give him some blue flower. One of the best brands out there. That and the red flower. What a combo. Look at that red flower. They call it Supreme for a reason. There's the pasta. No yogurt to stock yet. Any milk to stock yet? Anybody buy milk? Perfect, perfect. Love to see it. What are we missing? What items don't we have? Valued customers. We don't have salt. Need some more salt. It's salt. Very small box for salt. I should just like put the stuff in the same spot every time. So I don't forget. I think I'll forget to do that though. That sounds more fun. What did he want? Crap, I didn't see what he wanted. I didn't see what his missing product was. You guys good? Are you finding all the products you desire? Almost out of the red pasta. Almost out of the oil as well. Bread's too expensive? Come on. It's not too much to ask. Okay, red pasta. The yellow oil. Maybe some susu. Some susu and some Chaco Crunch for good measure. So 
what the people crave. Turn the lights on. I gotta buy more lights at some point. I do not have adequate lighting in this store. Purple Blast. Delicious chocolates. Delicious pasta. Come on, somebody buy one of these. Buy one. Buy a single one. Thank you. Thank you so much. What? Oh, he bought the blue pasta instead. You jerk. I was going for the perfect shelf layout. But you've stolen it away. No longer is that window open to me. I'm just looking pretty well stocked. Looking pretty good. Oh, I'm instead of passports. We need more passport chocolate. It's called passport chocolate because it's your ticket to a flavored dimension. Right? Right? That's good. Good motto. I'm having a lot of boxes full of one item. Should be able to have like a miscellaneous shelf for all your crap you don't want. We do have storage. The storage costs six grand though to buy, I think. It doesn't seem that useful because I'd have a floor. Why would I pay all that money for storage when I have a floorboard right here? Just toss it on the floor. I call it Florage. Structure your store like an Ikea. Make it like a winding maze. Full of square furniture. If it's so much Susu in that bad boy, that's true. It is very tempting to buy the storage and just fill it with Susu. But before I would buy the storage, I want to buy the, the store square footage upgrades. What's my next upgrade? Not a loan. Maybe I should get a $2,000 loan. I didn't pay these. Oh, crap. Ah, yeah, crap. Well. There's some money down. I forgot to pay bills. I thought I could have sworn the bills auto-paid, but I guess the bills don't auto-pay. Whoops. Oops. There's plenty more product licenses to buy. Plenty more cashiers to buy. At store level 20, though. Growth, maybe? Maybe a store section? For 750? It's kind of a lot, though. It's kind of a lot of money for that. Probably buy another shelf and a store license is my next move. Maybe a light. Maybe a light for over here. It gets real dark in here real fast. I could buy another cashier thing to speed things along. I don't think the amount of time waited in line counts. I think just like item selection counts for store points. I don't think that them having to wait in line is going to affect my bottom line that much. Aside from the fact that at 9 p.m. it takes a couple more seconds. Storage is now 1K. 6K was way too much. Oh, they patched that? Good. I mean, it still feels like it's not worth it at all. If there's a single store square footage you haven't bought yet, why would you ever buy storage? Wish I could customize my cashier. That'd be fun. I wonder if you get cashier number two. Is it the same guy or is it a different guy? Would it be the same NPC or not? I wonder. Well, I'll have to take that home and wonder it with me as I sleep because I think that's enough supermarket simulator for today. Hey, let me let me go ahead and uh, check the check the till. Let's see how many uh, brain. Yeah, okay, we lost a decent amount of brain cells playing that. I don't know why this game is fun. This game, this game. Ask this guy. This game really sucks, but this game is really fun, even though it's really bad. I don't know. It's, it's a weird game. I don't understand why it's good, but it is good. So tune in next time when I probably play it some more. <laughs>